Hello. And happy Sunday. Is my stream showing up right now? Hold on one second. For some reason it's showing... Oh, there we go. Okay. Carly, Carly. Oh, I miss this music so much. This is probably one of the best soundtracks out there. One second, folks. Let me just set up my chats here. All right. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Appreciate you guys being here. I do want to point out that Carly Carly, our YouTube and Twitch moderator, originally found this stream way back in the day. I believe I was playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Probably like four, five years ago is, is when I played it. Was it that long ago? Holy crap. And yeah, we're gonna jump back in because we have uh, Dragon Age Summer coming up. And as worried as I am about um, Bioware, <laughs> I'm still staying, staying as optimistic as I can about Dragon Age 4 because I love the Dragon Age, Dragon Age franchise. I'm reading the books right now. I'm currently on The Calling. I'm about three quarters through that book right now. I love the lore. I love the world. The Dragon Age Origins is a fantastic game. I love Dragon Age Inquisition. I have some uh, interesting thoughts on Dragon Age 2, but overall, I am a big fan of this franchise. So I figured now would be a great time to, uh, to jump into... A Dragon Age Inquisition run considering that I'm jumping around to a few different games and before you know it summer will be here and we'll be playing the Elden Ring DLC and we'll be getting some news on Dragon Age 4 so yeah sit back relax enjoy and uh, as of now I'm gonna be starting on nightmare difficulty mode I have beaten this game I think my first full playthrough was on hard mode several years ago so I figured we'll bump it up to nightmare right now I am playing on controller which I didn't do on my first run, so I'm probably going to look pretty damn stupid today trying to figure that out. And there's a chance that I might bump it down from Nightmare, Nightmare back down to hard, because the point of this run is more so just to soak in the story and the lore, and, you know, just, just feel the Dragon Age again. I don't necessarily need it to be like a Dark Souls type run, but we're going to start on Nightmare and uh, see how it goes. So, what's up, Martin? Estatin, hello. Good to see you. Sven? Odessa, hello. Shy? Oh my gosh. I'm very excited for Outward 2, yes. Very excited. Hey, Rory. Go Mage? I think I'm going to go Archer, actually. All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to bump up the, uh, the volume again. It's got to be one of my favorite songs in gaming. The menu screen song for Dragon Age Inquisition. Shit makes me happy, man. Hey, Jackie. Karakit, hello. So, many, many years ago, I played an elf warrior, or a dwarven warrior. So, I think this time I want to start off as an elven archer. I think is what I'm thinking. I do remember having Sarah on my team, and uh, a lot of people seem to hate Sarah. And I actually kind of liked her and I gave her a chance, but then she started doing stupid shit in combat, so she got fired real fast. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably fill that archer role, that elven archer role myself. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We got humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thedas. They are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. Human characteristics receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. Elves are historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their lithe frames and pointed ears. The most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities. Other live, others live as nomads known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to range defense. Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. So part of the reason for this run too is also to soak in some of the lore, so I will be reading quite a few things in this playthrough. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants or smugglers. 
Because dwarves have no connection to the Fade, they cannot be mages, but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense in Canari. The Canari are a race of horned giants who follow a strict religious text known as the Kun. Those who have abandoned its principles are known as Tal Vashaf and often work as mercenaries. Canari characters get a bonus of 10% to physical damage resistance. All right, as an elf, we can play as a rogue, dual wielding archer, a warrior two-handed, which I think is what I did with my dwarf. We have the weapon and shield tank, which I'll probably have um, Mr. Blackwall become the tank of my group when we meet him. And then mage, okay. And here we go. We have casual difficulty, normal, hard, nightmare, and then custom. So we're going to go with nightmare. Oh man, I'm a little bit nervous about this. <laughs> And we'll go with the default world state. Perfect. Enzavel, how you doing, man? Little Vixie, hello. Tardis, good to see you. You love Sarah? Yeah, Masso mode, right? It might be a little bit, I honestly don't know, but it might be a little bit too difficult to the point of where like it requires an insane attention to detail. And if that doesn't seem like it's going to be fun for me, we're just going to bump it down. Should I make another Solas? Should I make Solas his brother? Oh no, 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 no. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? I noticed there's like no way to skip cutscenes or anything with the controller. I don't know why it does. Oh my God, seriously game. Oh, you can skip cutscenes, okay. God. What a start. What a start. I had to close the app. It's going to take way too long. Man. All right, hold on one second, guys. Coming back into it. Coming back into it. You guys probably can't see anything right now. <laughs> Playing the default elf, yeah. I'm not doing that. Alright, starting back up. Hey, Elden, what's up? You play on Nightmare? Okay, cool. Good for you. Sorry about that, folks. What a bad part one, you know? Oof is right. Randy, what's up, man? Played as an elven assassin, and I somehow mastered my build to the point where I was able to shoot ogres. Oh, one-shot ogres. Attempt number two. kind of loud isn't it elf archer for now i think you can respec later on if i remember correctly i honestly forgot pretty much everything about this game so especially back then i was really bad at multitasking i've gotten a little bit better at focusing on games nowadays this is going to probably feel like a new game to me <laughs> all right we got elf archer hold on did i get that right let me just double check elf archer Nightmare, yep. And default. Oh, you too, Rory? And that's awesome. No, it's not permadeath mode, I don't think so. Default elf for the win. <laughs> Alright, I gotta be careful here not to click the wrong damn button. Because remember, I'm playing with a PS5 controller and no game seems to have, have PS5 controls.
Oh shit, I kind of like that actually. That's pretty cool. most important choice in all RPGs is the hair. Kind of the haircut I got right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's go back this way. My d-pad doesn't seem to be working right now. Hair looks a little bit stiff. The long hair does. Alright, let's go with... I guess we're gonna go with the... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. We'll go with that one. Oh, I like those green eyes with the dark hair. Pretty damn cool. How much is this going to cost me exactly? Sold. All right, your size. I forgot about this character creator. That looks about right. Your position. Ah, shit, I don't know, man. Whatever, that's fine. Your lobe size. Oh yeah, we gotta jack those suckers up, man. It's all about the earlobe, baby. Cheekbones. Widen them out a little bit. This guy's actually looking kind of cool. Cheek shape. Um, do, do 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 Can't really tell what this is doing. So we'll just leave it right there. Brow size. That looks fine. Don't gotta get too serious here. Everybody loves a good forehead, don't they? Good fat forehead. Means you got a fat brain, which means you're smart. Either that or it's inflamed a little bit. All right, eye shape, let's see what we got. Oh god, I screwed it up. Where was it before? Okay, we'll go with default with that. Eye rotation. They really let you do a lot, don't they? That looks pretty good. Wow, this character creator is a lot more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Than from what I remember. I think we'll go with the default eyebrows. Eyebrow position. It's all about the eyebrow position, trust me. You guys want... To witness a romance expert in RPGs, I'm I'm the man for that job. Just follow my lead with character creation. And your wildest desires will come true. Trust me, people can vouch for that in the chat. Why is this movie why is this music so creepy at the character creation? Oh my god, I love this so much. This is so cool. This is so cool. Can we go with like a... Wow, look at that. Dude, this is incredible. Alright, nose. If we're gonna do the wolf heart nose... You guys know what we got to do. We got to make it a, a Whoville nose. So that's probably the size of my nose or the shape of my... No, no, wait. Can we not get a pointy tip? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> this game actually has my nose setting. Oh my god, it's kind of embarrassing. Most games you actually can't get the slider far enough to, to, to look like my nose. And this game takes it to the extreme. Is that what I look is that really what I look like? Romance specialist, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, last time I played this game I tried to romance Josephine. It didn't work out. Is that what my nose looks like, seriously? Can I just can I can I put the tip down just a little bit? No, that's not my nose. This is this is a little bit too much. You guys are just being mean now. That's not my nose. Is it really my nose? Here we go. Here we go, folks. We're gonna suck that. <laughs> Look, oh my god, dude, it looks like Pinocchio. <laughs> it looks like Pinocchio. Alright, that's that's probably it right there. Yeah, I'll take that nose. Sure. Oh, we do have a nose tip position. No way. Oh, that's incredible. Alright, so yeah, it was jacked up all the way to the extreme. I'm not that extreme. I'm probably right about. Let's go with um. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably right there. That looks right. Yep, I think we're looking good. Okay, nostril size. I don't freaking know, man. Broken nose. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay, I think I'm looking pretty good. Let's move on to the mouth and jaw. Absolutely chiseled jawline. You guys don't like this guy so far? Sure, we'll go with that one. Why not? Mouth. Nah, we're not going to mess with that. Mouth position looks fine. Lip thickness. Jawline. I don't know. I think we're looking pretty damn good here. I don't got to get into all that. Chin size. Nah, we're looking good. I could pull that chin down a little bit, though. Is that possible? Go right, <laughs> double chin? I, I just love that that's a setting in this game. <laughs> the inevitable double chin. But you know what, since we're playing a video game, let's pretend that none of us have that, alright? Adam's apple? Oh yeah. It's definitely gotta jack that son of a bitch right up, man. Max settings. For max manliness. Alright. Scars and tattoos. Um... I do want some, let's get, hold on, let's get rid of the tattoos real fast. Could have done that in the beginning. While we're working on this character. How do you go all the way to the, I guess I gotta scroll it over. Wait, is there no, why is there no, where's the no tattoo setting? Do all elves have to have tattoos? We'll work with that for now. Hold on, so let's go scars. We got a scar, oh, I love that one right there. I love when the scars go right across the eye. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Yep, I like it. Horizontal position. I don't think I gotta mess with that. Tattoo design. Ooh, I kinda like that. It almost looks like veins. The elves are so weird, aren't they? Damn pointy ears. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with that. What do you guys think? Does that look pretty cool for an archer elf? I think it does. I think it does. And we'll give it a little bit of a greenish tint. Just a little bit. Kind of like a forest dark evergreen sage. All right, and makeup. Um, I don't think we need any makeup. Nope, we'll jack that sucker down. 
Oh, looking good. Blush color. Blush intensity. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. What do you guys think? It's a good looking archer elf right here. Ain't anything I got to change? No, I think we're good. Okay, well, let's jump right in. Is your favorite character creator better than better than Dragon's Dogma 2? Glossy lips. Is that a bad thing, Shy? All right. Oh no 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 no! I gotta make sure I hit the right the right buttons here. Hold on. Accept changes. There we go. Okay. Can I use my keyboard now? Yes, I can. We'll call this guy. You know what? Since I'm playing an elf, we're gonna use the whole name. Wolfheart. I'm pumped up right now. I'm excited. Gotta pay attention to these cutscenes, though. You guys should, too. Try to learn that lore before Dragon Age 4 starts hyping up. Hey, Shannon. Eek. Sorry, I know it's a little loud. Geo Brony. It's so cool to be playing these games right now as I'm reading the books. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... a woman. A woman? She reached out to me, but then... <sighs> Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? 
This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. The classic Bioware dialogue choices. You choose one response, and then the response that your character actually gives isn't the response that you chose. You guys know what I'm talking about? I forgot about that with this game. I think it's like that with a few Bioware games. I think I remember that in Mass Effect 1, too. Appreciate the thumbs up on the YouTube stream, guys. Thank you very much. All right, um, let's see. I think I'm going to be kind of nice in this run, you know? Kind of cooperative. But I am going to ask, do I have a choice out of curiosity? So I don't really have a choice about this. None of us has a choice. God, the music, it's so good in this game. The strings, the cellos. The French horn. Yes, I've played Origins before. Yep, and Dragon they Age They have too. decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. Mm -hmm. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. Yeah, that's not good. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark got a pretty must be tested voice, on he? something smaller than the breach. I think I have to turn down the volume just a little bit. You guys agree? Let's take the master volume. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's see what's going on here? Yeah, that's definitely a little bit loud. Hold on. Watching my audio controls here. Um, sound effects can probably go down to 80. Uh, dialogue, 90. Music volume, 80. Sound effects, 70. We'll do that. On death, there is but one God, and he is our maker. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. to the rift with Cassandra. Oh, I see original soundtrack. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, I don't the think more you can, demons we face. I don't think you can split on this game, can you? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. I'm going to put on subtitles for the... Um, for the game too, we'll see. We'll see if that gets annoying or not. But we'll do conversations and ambience. I kind of want to listen to like the the banter and stuff like that. And sometimes I might be talking through it or something like that, and at least we can all read it. No one knows who she was. Everything ways the dash. farther in the valley was laid waste, including. Why is this game so loud?
Oh shit. Stay behind me. I'm not Paragos. All right. RT to attack. Nice. That's not a good start. I do have a couple of abilities, but let me just make sure I get the basics down here. All right, check. Nice. It's over. Drop your weapon now. If you're going to lead me through a demon infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. I feel like my character's voice sounds like one of the companions. You're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you did not attempt to run. Okay, LB and select. Make a nose what we will face. LB, okay, and then I go up and oh, that's kind of a weird control on the controller to do that, but we'll get used to it. And you gotta oh damn, then you gotta press X on it too. At the forward camp or fighting, we are on our own. Let's press on. Seven armor rating, plus three dexterity, restriction elf dwarf or human. All right, let's see if we can equip that real fast. We'll go to inventory. Um, do, 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 armor. Okay, we have on a mercenary coat right now. Examine, 41 armor rating, 2% range defense, restriction rogue class, and then the scout hat. So we're going to put that on. Since I'm playing a nightmare at the moment, I feel like I'm going to have to pay, you know, kind of close attention to the items that I'm picking up. All right, and then we can switch to Cassandra by pressing up on the D-pad. And we don't have anything else, I don't think, to equip. Nope, okay. And honestly, I might have to go... <laughs> I think we have to... Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We're going to click on hide helmet. Until we find a cool-looking helmet. All right, get to the rift with Cassandra. Can we take a look at my journal? Cassandra wants to test the effects of the mark left by the blast. There is a rift nearby that may be suitable. Cassandra representing you short-haired ladies? Hell yeah. Abilities consume mana and stamina for powerful combat effects. Most abilities require time to pass before reuse. Okay. There, watch out. If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. Oh, hell yeah. Oh shit, that's not good. I thought it would be pretty cool to play as an archer on Nightmare because then I can just kind of command the battlefield from afar. You know, when we go into tactical mode, which I don't think it's letting me do that just yet. But I think I'm probably going to fire Cassandra and pick up Blackwall. Because I like him. Although I wouldn't mind running with companions that I haven't ran with before. Oh, nice. That's so sick. Check over here for some loot. 44 gold. Gather herbs and metals out in the wild and use them to craft upgrades to your gear and potions. Explore and find as many varieties as you can. What's up, Quiz? I only remember one thing from this game, and it was really cool. Scripted sequence followed by an insanely hard boss fight. Up on the hill. It attacks from a Exultus. distance. 
Oh god, probably shouldn't look at the chat while I'm in combat on this difficulty, right? What if I get like sneak attack damage? Yep, I think so. That was an insanely powerful shot right there. Sandra using her taunt. Yeah, one thing that I like about this game is that, like, your party composition... You kind of have to go with... Well, you don't have to, but... You know, going with, like, the, the classic raid party composition for MMOs is... Uh, it works well in this game. Like, having a healer, having a tank. I like games that are like that. I like games where your class choice has, like real use and real meaning, as opposed to everybody just being able to do everything. You guys know what I'm saying? Okay, I think we're going to be picking up a few more companions here momentarily. They're falling from the breach. Where'd you go, Cassandra? Oh, yeah, where the hell am I right now? Okay, here we go. Oh god, this guy's coming right at me. mode is more than just like making all the opponents a bullet shield these guys are taking a really long time to kill get up there Cassandra oh wow that's not good I gotta get some mobility skills. You got a taunt, Cassandra, or what are you doing? You snuffing the dog over there? Let's get to work. Come on. There we go. We have attack my target, disengage. I don't think I've unlocked the tactical mode yet, but we're going to be definitely using that on this difficulty. Yeah, the game does look really good for being 10 years old, for sure, I agree. This is a creature research item. Bring it to a cre creature research specialist to learn more about this type of creature. Okay. You got it. We just check up here for any herbs. Any foliage that we can harvest. Yeah, I remember on my first run of this game, you know, many, many years ago, I remember just being amazed by the visuals. A few of the areas are just uh, quite pretty in this game, especially when you compare it to Dragon Age 2. If you're coming fresh off of Dragon Age 2, coming into Inquisition is like, this game is like 20 years ahead of its time when compared to Dragon Age 2 in terms of visuals. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Um, how do I get Cassandra to take a, uh, hold on. Ho we yeah, it won't even them. let me switch characters yet because I think it's all part of the tutorial. Hopefully she heals herself.
do 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 I know I gotta close that rift, but I kind of forget how you do it in this game. I think you have to walk up to it. Oh shit! Quickly, before more come through. Yes. What did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. You mean this? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. <laughs> Her face. The one thing that Larian Studios fouled me at with Baldur's Gate 3 was not having a dwarven companion. Especially coming off a of DOS 2 with Beast. Extremely disappointing. Or a Dragonborn companion. That would have been sick too. Hey, Bug, what's up? Asuka, hello. Maddie Ice, Mr. Maximus, Nick. Hey, Mies, greetings. Thanks for being here. All right, um, let's see. Like I said, I'm gonna be kind of nice right now. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be a cha I'm a changed man now with my RPGs. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca. Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well-versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. You sneaky, conniving bastard. And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. Let's hope that this for way, DA4. Down the bank. The road ahead At the very stopped. least, the game has solid companions quickly. and companion stories, because Bioware has always been pretty good at that. Exceptionally good at that. And uh, even if the gameplay of DA4 isn't, you know, appealing to all of us Dragon Age Origin fans, I think they might even be doing away with the tactical camera, which is a bummer, in my opinion. It might just become purely an action RPG. Don't take my word on that, though, because I do have to. We do need some more information on it. At the very least, let's get the story and the lore and the companions right, and then I'll be pretty happy. 42 DPS. 37 damage plus 3 dexterity. Alright, let me go into my... How do I get in there? Oh, yeah, inventory. Go to weapons. Nice. A little bit of an upgrade here. Okay. Okay. Never used the tactical camera, little Vixie. 
I think you have you ever played in nightmare mode or hard mode? I feel like when I played on hard mode, like the tactical Demon's camera head. was like required. Glad you brought me now, seeker. There was like a few. There was a few situations where I really had to like position my characters. I feel like it's going to be like that uh, in nightmare mode too, but. All right, there we go. Now we can switch characters. Perfect. Okay, so hold on. Let me see what attacks we have here. Cassandra has... Oh, she has her block ability. Okay. I remember that. Um, and then we have taunt. And then like a slash. All right, Solas has got his mage attacks. Area of effect attacks allow you to target groups of enemies. Gotcha. Is this a heal or is this an offensive spell? I can't tell. Let's give it a try. It looks like a heal, so let's do this. Oh, it's a shield. Okay. Oh, nice. It only lasts a certain amount of time, though. We have our ice barrier. And then who else do we have? We have Varric, and Varric has Caltrops. Nice. And then I think the same shot that I have. Okay. Let's go. Old Bioware was. How do I send that? Can I go in? Yes, I can go into the tactical camera. Okay, here we go. So now let's... Um, why did it dim down? Oh, because I'm in a tutorial right now. Oh, it won't actually let me go over there. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, well, there we go. Let's go to Cassandra, attack, Varric, or Solas, attack, and then Varric, attack. Perfect. And then we will just exit out of the tactical camera. like loot already getting like beaten up right now in the damn tutorial like look at cassandra's health holy crap all right solas um i think i need a shield out of you so let's actually i'm, I'm gonna get out of the tactical camera actually hold on take me a little bit to figure this out solas doesn't have his shield at the moment so that's why let it play nice she healed all right here we go and then we'll drop that sucker right here. And then I'm going to go right back to... Perfect. All right, we're getting warmed up. We're getting warmed up. Starting to feel it. I really enjoy the tactical camera. Like, I just enjoy it so much. It's such a bummer if it's not going to be in Dragon Age 4. Play Nightmare and never use the tactical camera. I guess you guys are just a lot better than I am, though. Feels so good to be in a fantasy world again. I can't wait to get back to Fallout, don't get me wrong. And I will continue Fallout 4. But fantasy just it just feels good. It's my feel good place. I should check this house too really fast. We had to go up the stairs, but I am going to check this house. Oh, the AI and got excited. Hell yeah. Thanks for stopping in. I'm excited too. Like I said, I'm reading the books right now and uh, they're really good books. 
And it's so cool learning the backstory on certain characters, specifically the characters that you see in Dragon Age Origins. And your perspective so, on those characters is totally innocent? different. I don't remember what if you happened. read the books versus coming into Dragon Age Origins without reading the books. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. Like, totally different perspective on so many of the, uh, the main characters in Dragon Age Origins. Totally different. Not sold on Dragon Age Dreadwolf yet, Bug? I feel you, man. I feel you. Who knows what Bioware is these days? You guys know how many people they laid off recently? Bioware and EA, man. And not to mention, Bioware also laid off a lot of very prominent, established Dragon Age developers. And as Larian Studios says, you know, when you have devs that have been working on a game for a long time, they are extremely valuable to keep in your company. Because they know how it all works. And Bioware has recently parted ways with a lot of them. Even Mark Dara, I don't think he officially works for Bioware right now. He did leave the company and now he's back as like a consultant or something like that. Um, but DM Wyvern had Mark Dara on his stream with me and Ed Greenwood. And uh, I gotta say, like Mark didn't seem that excited about Dragon Age 4. <laughs> Everything you said about the game was, I hope it turns out good. I hope it turns out good rather than this game is badass. So, yeah, temper your expectations. But if you're like me, you want to stay optimistic. And hopefully we, we can get a good, um, get a good story, an expansion on the lore at the very least. But we'll find out soon enough, right? Okay, here we go. Seal the rift at the camp. Oh, shit. Wow. Dude, Do 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 do. Why did nobody listen to me? I, I pressed the wrong button. Must have pressed the wrong button. Let me try that again. I wanted I wanted Varric. To, you know, I'll have Varric move over here, and then we're going to have Solas. We'll have him move right right here. Cassandra's finishing off this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go back to Wolfheart. Oh, I have to... Hold on. Make it take I screwed it up again. Varric, move over here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Varric, move right here. Please. Hold on, damn it. Varric, move right here. Please. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Hurry, use the mark. Your character is leveled up. This increases your health and stats automatically and awards you one ability point to use. Oh, my headset's dying. Give me one second, folks. Lucky for me, it's a quick swap. 
a very quick swap. EA's been making lots of studio layoffs. Yeah, sucks, man. It really does. I have played Dragon Age Origins. I played Dragon Age Origins and two, and I've read basically two of the Dragon Age books. I don't know where you guys are getting that from. All right. Open the hero menu and select character record to see abilities screen. Okay. Um, oh, nice. All right. So here we go. So we have double daggers, archery, sabotage, and subterfuge. All of this is part of the rogue class, but I am kind of focusing on archer right now. Um, <laughs> we're going to stay in the archer tree. Each ability contains active abilities, upgrades, and passive abilities. Active abilities are diamond shape icons. Upgrades are attached to an ability and make it stronger. Passive abilities have circular icons and are permanent boosts to your character that are always active, regardless of class. Okay, diamond, active, circle, passive. Gotcha. When you have an ability point available, press A to learn the highlighted ability. You can also only learn abilities connected to the root of the ability tree. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So let's um, let's see here. We got first blood. You've learned to pick apart enemies that are still unwounded and unwary. You do more damage to enemies that are only lightly injured. Do more damage when firing from elevation. Damn, that sounds kind of cool. And then we have long shot, which is what I currently have. So I could upgrade this a little bit more. Um, let's see. Long shot now rips through every enemy along its path. Or, oh nope, I think I have to go with that one. Oh no, there we go. Eagle Eye. Long shot now deals, deals even more damage at greater ranges. Okay, whatever. I just learned that one. Why not? And I can always respec and mess with this stuff later. So, alright, so... Behavior screen allows you to provide instructions to your party on how they should fight, cooperate, and defend themselves in combat. While you can directly control and switch between party members at any time, they'll follow these rules when you're controlling them. Okay. So, for my character, we have... Ocean, 830% HP. AI tactics. Oops, I screwed that up. Okay, we can just switch that. I'm just going to leave it on the default for now, and then we'll mess with that as we start playing and noticing things that our companions are doing that I don't want to do. Liliana is waiting at a forward camp closer to the breach, the Wrath of Heaven. Get to the rift, reach the forward camp, seal the rift at the camp, and speak with Liliana. Rift is gone. What? Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. You have already caused enough trouble without resorting to this exercise in futility. I have <laughs> Give her a little bit of a weapon upgrade right there. Trouble. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Damn. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. So none of you are actually in charge here. <laughs> you killed everyone who was in charge! Bro. Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. 
How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? Take the mountain path fast, but indirect soldiers will act as a distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. Careful sustained assault. Soldiers will stand with you to ensure arrival. Scouts in the past may be lost. I mean, there's really no good decision here. Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own, you know what? I think I'm gonna charge with the soldiers. I feel like the scouts, I feel like the scouts, stand a better chance of getting out alive. They're scouts after all, right? I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. My character has an aura of confidence about him, doesn't he? Got that little smirk. I have Peachy, yes. Not using any mods, no. Hey, Arthur. Don, what's up? You decided to come back to DA Inquisition today too, Kajitan? Nice. Hey, yeah, we gotta get prepped for the Dragon Age Summer. Right? What better time than now? Okay, charge forward to the temple with the soldiers. The temple of Sacred Ashes was at the heart of the blast that tore open the sky. Reach the temple and see what can be done. Any loot around here? Can I run over fire? Let's try it. You can. Really? No damage? Okay. Fair enough. Wish there was a quicker way to get into the inventory. I don't think there is, though. Let's go to weapons, and we're going to go to Cassandra, and I am going to equip her with... Currently has the Inquisition shield on. We're going to give her the Griffin shield. Damn, look how cool that looks. And then my character. I thought I could use... Oh, hmm. Forget how the weapon switching works in this game. If I switch to... Hold on, let me... S oh, okay. No. Hold on, let me just try these out real fast. Nice. Okay, I thought I could... I thought you could use two different weapon types in this game, can you? Put the bow back on. 42 damage. Perfect. Hey, Vox. Fingers crossed for Dragon Age Origins live playthrough with mods. You know, honestly, if Dragon Age 4 is looking pretty hype, I probably will do that before Dragon Age 4 comes out. I do have the playthrough somewhere on the channel. It might be under the live streams playlist. I don't have it, like, organized. I don't think it's a public, uh, public stream series, but... You might be able to find it under the live streams playlist. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at that later.
there. We must seal it if we have to get past. I got you Quickly, guys. Then. Shit. Oh, I don't know. That might be a little bit too early. Oh shit. Yep. We'll try it anyways. As before, you are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoner's doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. So I don't know if we'll see Danny at some point, but Danny, who is a member of this channel, has a Cohen tattoo. A lot of Cullen lovers out there. Thank you, Don. Appreciate your longtime support, man. And also, thanks for helping with the modding. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over you. For all of our sakes. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Oh, I can't wear this? Oh, you gotta be level six. That's why. Okay. Have your men take our positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'm not sure how to even start getting up to that thing. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Okay, here we go. Now is the power of a harvest tree. Bring forth the sacrifice. What? what are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Oh my god. Bro, I'm getting goosebumps right now. You 
know this stuff is red lyrium seeker. I see it, Varric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the, the sacrifice, sacrifice still. Keep the sacrifice Someone still. Help me. Oh shit, dude. That is divine Justinia's voice. Am I going the right way? You know what? Screw it. Let's just do this. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. Your voice, most holy, called out to you, but God bless the Maker. What's going on here? Run when you can, warn them. We have an intruder. Slay the elf. <laughs> Slay the elf. Which elf? You the bald were one? <laughs> there. Who attacked? And the divine is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed, albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened, and then sealed properly and safely. However, Opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons. No. Stand ready. At least they're not dark spawn, right? Like there's gonna be a lot of deaths in this encounter, folks. So prepare yourselves. Bucket section, Shy. No! My God, what the hell is that? Oh shit! We must. Later, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Love this game. The soundtrack here is epic. I keep listening to it over and over. One of the best. Totally agree with you on that. Amazing soundtrack. More coming through the rift. Shit.
on, Cassandra. Get up. Get up and heal. Get up and heal. Nice shield, Solas. Shit, Cassandra's going down. Cassandra's going down. Oh, yes. Now, Let's go, baby. Do it. Codex Unlock, Pride Demon. Thanks again, Leda. Playing on Nightmare Difficulty. Figured I would give it a shot. Thanks, Roy. Oh, I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Is this another prison? I no. I mean, I don't think so. Then where am I? Tell me. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Yeah, it's pretty skinny, isn't he? Were there, were there any body options in this game? Like to, did I miss that in the character creator? Oh, there's a mod out there that shows you the dialogue options. The actual words that they use. That'd be a good mod, right? So, a trial happens now, I suppose? I don't know anything about that. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. The Frostback Mountains. And this is just, this is what I want right here. This is all I want in real life. Give me a cabin like this. I'll put my PC, put my PC right here with the green screen up against that wall. We just call it a life. You know what I'm saying? Have a little, little river in the backyard. I like this style a lot. One day I'll have a house that looks like this. Vain hope. Someone better at this than... Excuse me, let's start that over. Someone better at this than me takes over before the survivor expires. Day one, clammy, shallow breathing, pulse over fast, not responsive, pupils dilated. Mage says his scarring mark is thrumming with unknown magic. Wish we could station a Templar in here just in case. They're awfully worried about me, aren't they? Ooh, we just picked up a bunch of, I think a bow. Let me check that real fast. Bow of the dragon. Holy cow. Dude, look at this bow that I'm starting off with. Fire damage, dexterity, guard damage. Got two rune slots. Well, that's pretty awesome. Then we have Avar armor. Stone bear armor. Holy crap, how did, is this like all part of, this must be like part of like the, the DLCs or something like that, right? Medium armor of the dragon. 73 defense. 69, this one's 92. Unique heavy armor. I'm putting this one on. We don't have any, um... Don't have any companions at the moment. I have a couple armor schematics. Okay. All right. I did want to check the codex out a little bit here. Let's go to creatures. 
We unlocked the... We have foot soldiers. Here we go. The pride demon. The most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all their kind, most resemble men. As clever and manipulative as their desire demon, with a penchant for, cu for cruel irony that is almost human. While the demons of desire largely engage in the bribery of mortals, pride will use mortals' own best nature against them. Clever men outwit themselves. Strong men crush themselves. Humble men forget themselves. Jealous men fear themselves. They turn corruption and ruin into an art. Codex is going to be our best friend on this run. Damn, look at this armor. This is sick. Can't wait till I get like a mobility skill to dodge or roll or evade or something like that. Alright, we gotta go find Cassandra and the Chantry. The breach is calmed, but the trouble is only beginning. Find Cassandra and the Chantry. such a badass right now. That's him. He stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard he was supposed to close it entirely. Still, it's more than anyone else has done. Demons would have had us otherwise. And I love little little dialogue tidbits like this in games. You get to hear what the common folk are saying about you as you walk around. Let's have you ever heard of the story of the King Bedwyr? Bedwyr, like most kings, was a man of great pride, who expected nothing but complete loyalty from his subjects. He believed the best way to achieve this was through fear. After all, those who feared him would never cross him or question his rule. Most importantly, those who feared him would always seek to please him. That's a lot of lore to read, so we're not going to read that. I'll read that on my own time. I won't have a voice if I start reading all of that. You know. Thanks for the two dollar super chat, Leda. Nothing to do with us. That Gonna meet Varric and Cullen soon. I actually met them earlier. They're in the intro to the game too. I'll keep in mind, folks. I have played this game before, but it was like four years ago. And I probably don't remember hardly anything. God, there's so much lore around here. I love it. I love lore-rich games. That's like probably my main reason for being excited for Dragon Age 4 is just to expand on the lore. Taken to Valroyo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is guilty. The elf failed, Seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, he intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the Chantry. My duty is to serve the principles on which the Chantry was founded, Chancellor, as is yours. Okay, so we know that we like Cassandra and we kind of trust her. I believe Seeker Pentagast was looking for you. Yeah, we can't really do anything until we talk to Cassandra. Go talk to her. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. 
Disregard that and leave us. You walk wow. a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. So I'm still a suspect, even after what we just did? You absolutely are. No, he is not. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. Nice. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> He's like defending us, something to say. Are you sure about that? The breach is stable now. What more do you want from me? We must try again. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order, with or without your approval. The guy has a face, you just wanna... This you just is wanna the smack Divine's him. directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. Yeah, great voice actors, right? Yeah, I know, Don. The music is so good in this game. Especially this song, when a character is giving a speech like Cassandra. <laughs> Carly in the Twitch chat also talking about the music. Everybody's talking about the music. So good. Such a good song. When I woke up, I certainly didn't picture this outcome. Neither did we. Help us fix this. Before it's too late. Wait, did they just do a handshake? And not a forearm shake? What kind of game is this? That's disgusting. Apparently they didn't go through the pandemic like we did. Nobody shakes hands anymore. Was this game of the year in 2014? The Game Awards game of the year, Elden? There's like 50 game of the year ceremonies out there. Nice, Carly, nice. You can learn a lot of the lore, Shannon, for sure. You love Cassandra Luna? Me too. You don't have to play this one to play the other ones, no. Or you don't have to play the other ones to play this one. It'll help, of course, but you don't have to. A couple um, returning characters, but like for the most part, they designed it to where you can be a new player into the franchise. A different story. What happened to Fallout 4? Oh, I'm still playing it. Um, all the games that I'm playing now are not going to be like continuous series where I just keep playing one game. I'm going to be switching back and forth. Rotating between probably three or four games. Elden Ring, Dragon Age, Fallout, and maybe one more. I've already played Dragon Age Origins. Oh, you're saying in general?
I think most people agree that Origins is the best game in the series. But a lot of people didn't play those games. Does it trouble you? If it wasn't enough to close the breach, what use is it? You did everything we asked of you. And it still didn't work. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Funny that the subtitles are on the top of the screen. You guys usually see me looking down like this. And now I have to look up. Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. Inquisition has very positive, I think mostly positive reviews You've on Steam. you met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, My girl. our ambassador and chief diplomat. I'm back and for Iran round two. <laughs> you speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Yeah, my, uh, in my Dragon Age Inquisition run a few years ago, let's just say, things got rated M real fast with Josephine. Wolf, you failed in your romance with Josephine? No, I didn't. Fuck. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. The dialogue's so good in this game. I also like how I'm playing as an elf, how the, the game recognizes that. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Hmm. <clears throat> 
The war table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout Orlais and Ferelden. Mother Giselle is in the Hinterlands, which can be found on the Ferelden side of the table. Conquered by, by Orlais. Torn by civil war, ravaged by the fifth blight. Ferelden is no stranger to hardship. With the Vale weakened, You're the land pleased. is more turbulent than ever. I am not convinced we are prepared for the full scrutiny of Val Orlais is known for its culture of extravagant nobility, yet also as the birthplace of the Chantry. Orlais is the most powerful human nation in Thetis. Inquisition can unlock new areas for you to explore through scouting operations. Perform the scouting operation for the Hinterlands on the Ferelden side of the war table. Mother Giselle was last seen in the hinterlands outside of Redcliffe, tending refugees who fled the fighting between the renegade Templars and the apostate mages. The latest reports suggest that the vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the hinterlands, catching the refugees and the Mother Giselle in the middle. It is vital to protect her, and if possible, restore order to the area. If Giselle dies, any hope of Chantry support dies with her. My scouts will slip past the fighting, find her, and protect her with their lives. I gotta run to the bathroom real fast. Pull up this cutscene on my phone. The Hinterlands! Be right back. By the way, I appreciate all of you. Appreciate all of you guys that are watching today. I remember when I streamed Inquisition many, many moons ago, way before Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I remember having like 50 to 100 people max in the chat back then. So, appreciate you guys. Cool to return to this game. So many of you guys come from me streaming this game. A lot of you guys that are the foundation of this channel. Okay, scout the hinterlands. We avoided the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's orders any longer. We located Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That will be hard to do without troops to push through the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe. Who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining horses for the Inquisition, but we've been unable to get through the fighting. Gather your party and venture forth. Yeah, and thank you for the Canadian $10 super chat. Happy to see a new game being played, especially seen as I've never seen it. Glad to show it to you, Shannon. The Dragon Age franchise is a special franchise. Made of the elven puzzles. Oh, I forgot about some of those puzzles later in the game. There was one puzzle that I couldn't figure out. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's Hightown? I can't say I have. Why? 
You'd be Harding and... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. Yeah, there was a puzzle in, Dra in Dragon Age Inquisition, um, and I didn't want to look at the chat. I was literally trying to figure it out for it had to have been over an hour, probably like an hour and a half, maybe even two hours of me just sitting there trying to figure it out. And everybody in the chat just absolutely hated me. It was so frustrating for people to watch, but I just refused to look over at the chat. I don't even know if I figured it out. It's one of the few puzzles that I wasn't able to actually figure out even after that amount of time. It just wasn't sitting right in my brain. What's the situation out here in the hinterlands? We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the wars spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Okay, welcome to the Hinterlands. The game is so pretty, isn't it? You can rest over here. I really like my bow. Wish I could beef up my elf a little bit, though. He's just a little skinny. Change party, equip potions. We have eight on. Okay. Take a quick look at the map here. We have rifts that we have to close. Establish camps to hold the hinterlands and support Inquisition activity in the region. I think the camps give you a fast travel point, don't they? And we have rifts on the outskirts. Area is huge. So let's start off with the threat remains. The breach is calmed, but the trouble is only beginning. Clear threats at the crossroads. We'll head there first. Somebody's showing up on my map over here with an exclamation point. Here we go. Dispatch for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Hope I got a recipe. Okay. Here comes the music. I don't think I'm going to do all the content in the Hinterlands, otherwise we'll be here for the next two years. But we'll check out a few things here. This is one of Dragon Age Inquisition's biggest criticisms, is all the unnecessary side quests and activities that they give you to do, where it starts to feel a little bit like an MMO in some of the areas. Specifically the Hinterlands. Brithus, I know you escaped with the other mages, and I know you'll come here. Father told you that if you ever strayed, he'd put you down himself. If you're here, you know he's dead, but I'm not. I'll be killing apostates and waiting for you at the old Fenix place to the north. I've got Father's sword and my true brothers and Templars. Come if you're man enough. Interesting reading. Could be worth a look. Gotta upgrade that. 
Let's see what else we got here. Eighty two. Do, 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 do. Is that heavy armor? It is. I guess we'll put that on Cassandra. <laughs> and then let's take a look at Solas. Let me see what he's got here. Okay, he's got this on, so let's give him... Oh my god! That's kind of funny. It's a big upgrade though, so let's take it. Um, he can wear heavier armor too. We'll leave that. And then let's go to Varric. Armor, let's see here. Light, medium armor, probably medium armor for Varric. Yep, we'll put that on. And then for weapons, let's make sure we have on... Wolfhart has on the best weapon, Solas. Let's see what we got for Solas. Do, 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 do. Nothing? Okay. Cassandra, we're looking pretty good. Beric has Bianca. We're going to keep Bianca on. Okay. All right. We're looking pretty good here. No accessories yet. I like Beric's outfit right here. It's funny. Beefy. Yeah, if you guys have any Dragon Age questions, we have a lot of people in this chat that are experts not only on the games, but also the lore, too. We have some Dragon Age fanatics, including Carly Carly. And we have a lot of people in this community that have Dragon Age tattoos, also. Mother Giselle cannot be far. You're a Dragon Age nerd, Pyro. You better get studying. You can always watch the stream later. Inquisition forces. Trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. Gotta take down the sorcerers first. Yeah, that's a tanky mage right there. Holy crap. Maybe it's just because of my nightmare. Be ready. More coming our way.
are victorious once more. Check the boxes for the challenges to max difficulty. Oh, the only thing I did with difficulty was put the game on nightmare. That's all I did. I'm fine with whatever difficulty that, that equates to. Tactic and behavior settings. There yeah, I'm gonna look more here. more into that. Heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't don't touch me, mother. Their magic is Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Their magic is surely no Mother more Giselle. evil than your blade. I, I am. like that line. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. What you said to that soldier? We do not teach that magic is evil. We teach that pride is evil and does not corrupt only mages. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people. Senselessly taken from us. But don't you stand with the rest of the Chantry? With no divine, we are each left to our own conscience. And mine tells me this. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. That won't just make it worse? Because you are not human? That too. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us or destroy us. Hey, Razgar. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. The breach is calm, but the trouble is only beginning. Speak with Corporal Vale about the state of the hinterland. We also have the horse quest. We have to clear some rifts. Stick with the main quest for now. Look at this house right here. It's kind of like a hobbit hole in a way.
Starting to get a feel for the controls here. I don't know how you equip mods onto your weapons. I don't know if I have to be at like a special table or something. Let me go back to this table. Or maybe it's under, hold on, maybe it's under upgrades. How cool it would be to live in a town like this. It's perfect. Kind of gives me some uh, some Zelda vibes a little bit. Ocarina of Time. and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply, but if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. What can you tell me about the rebel mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe, dug in and taking care of their own. The ones out here are just apostates. Locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. What can you tell me about the Templars? All the Templars were called to Val Royo not long ago. These bastards ignored the order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. I will say, even though I criticize Dragon Age 2 all the time, the story was pretty good. It was pretty intense, the, the Templars versus the mages. Is there anything we can do to help people deal with the cold? I asked the Inquisition to send blankets. You'd think I was asking for a wagon of raw Lyrian. <laughs> a recruit named Whittle is trying to make what we can bring in last. If you have any ideas, talk to him across the road. You were concerned about refugees starving? Yes. Many of them brought food but they expected to be home by now, or safe in a city. There's a hunter up the hill who has some ideas. Farewell. And you as well. Yeah, let's go talk to, oh. Stabilize areas by sealing fade rifts. Expand the reach of the Inquisition by setting up new camps. And complete quests to gain power and influence. Spend power on scouting operations at the war table. Gain enough influence increases the rank of your Inquisition and grants you access to unique perks. Okay, we're going to work on um, the Master of the Horses quest. Horse Master Dennett may be able to provide horses for the Inquisition. He just needs to be convinced. <clears throat> so we're going to do that one first. And actually, if I take a look at the map here, we are going... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I should probably take care of that rift because we're really close to it. We're going all the way over here. So let's go back and take care of this rift. Then we're going to come down here, unlock this camp, that camp, and then Horse Master. Yeah, I like that. So let me see if I can... Okay, cool. Yep, but that is active. <laughs> We're going to go take care of that real fast. Yep. We'll start off with a little combat here. Did they say anything about Dragon Age 4 and controlling party members? Is that now not a feature? Did we, any, did we ever get any confirmation on that? 
feel like I either heard a rumor or they announced it. That controlling party members was not going to be a thing anymore, which really sucks, but... Right, should probably go this way. Yeah, for sure, Serenity. Hawk is your favorite protagonist, Carly, of all time. Nope, I'm not having a struggle, gamer dad. I'm just hopping between different games right now. I have plans on continuing all, all of the games that I've started out this past week. We have a we have a little side quest thing right here. Sketch of Callahan's foothold. Okay. I was going completely the wrong way too. <laughs> Let me unselect. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit! I'm really close to this rift now too. Wonder if I could get to this one. Um, how do you do 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 do? do? Okay. See if we can close this rift. Here we go. Oh shit. I don't know if that's going to work for that. Yeah, that was rough. I got to find a heal for Solas. Holy crap. Oh, sweet. I do have points to spend. I didn't even realize that. Okay. All right. So we have Elegant Defense right here. Guardian Spirit. Revival. Strength of Spirits. Let's see what we got here. Barrier. Hold on. Barrier. You have learned to cast Barrier with a more stable magic pattern. Cooldown reduction, um, and then we have Aura of Tranquility makes enemies less likely to attack you in battle. Probably not bad to have. Guardian Sphere, protective barrier springs into place around you automatically when you're badly injured. Mind Blast, you send enemies staggering with an explosion of willpower that drives them back. Your barriers now draw on the magic of the Fade to absorb more energy. You summon spirits to heal fallen allies in the area. 
When your allies have an active barrier, the beneficial energy invigorates them and helps them recover mana or stamina. Remove hostile magic and spell status effects. Okay. Okay, Varric, currently in archery, the same as me. Might switch him up a little bit. Could be the dagger build with Varric. I have to respec though, but I do have two points to spend here. Um, hold on, let's see. This one is long shot. He is the same as me. Sabotage the Caltrops. Look like a hurt. The worst mistake your enemies can make is to let you let see them flinch. Whenever you score a critical hit, you regenerate stamina. You hurl a light grappling hook at a target, then you yank it hard as you leap to pull yourself to it. You know, for now, let's just increase this, and I'm going to respec soon. I'm going to grab that. And then we're also going to grab Death from Above and try to put him on the high ground. Characters are screwed up right now. Holy crap. Go back to the crossroads. I believe the Inquisition can find some way to help these people. Okay, now we're going to head out towards the Horse Master. Now that I got one rift. But on the way, we might as well stop at this camp. And I'm going to fast travel back to the crossroads. At least the loading screens are super quick in this game. No, they don't. It's just what I heard. Yes, sir. Something like that. Good use of it. Right. It's kind of hard to navigate the hinterlands because there's so much verticality, elevation changes. Like, I'm not sure if this is the right way to go. I need to go over there and then wrap around. 
Well, we'll go this way. Yeah, the load screens are really fast, unlike Fallout 4. Let's establish this camp so right here. Set up camp or keep moving. Okay, now I have a point right here. Let's look back at the map. And now we have to continue heading this way and we'll stop at this rift along the way. Actually, no. Let's just go. Let's just go directly towards the Horse Master, because I'm not exactly sure where the path is going to take us through the mountains here. So there was a side quest right there. have gone mad with power. Well, the Templars aren't looking any better here. <gasps> yeah, initially I was planning on reading all of the all of the uh, notes in this game. I didn't realize they were like several pages long, many of them, so I'm not going to do that while streaming. It's just not going to be enjoyable for me because my voice is going to go away after like 20 minutes. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. Wish I could get Varric up onto the high ground here. Oh. No, you can't. Okay, so it's going to hold our ground back here. Varric, you just stay... Oh, yeah, you can go right here. Perfect. And then Solas. We're going to put you right here. Perfectly executed. Perfectly executed. into those war drums. Yeah, there's a lot of MMO-like MMO quests in the hinterlands, like placing the banners, establishing the camps. And these guys are tough to kill with the shields. I don't really have a lot. 
lot of abilities right now though either. I think that war music stays Almost until we actually as a spy or a figure out what's going Wait, on here. You read my book? It was in the Inquisition Library. Everyone but Donnan turned out to be in disguise. Is that common? Are we still talking about books, or are you asking if everyone I know is a secret agent? Are there many tricksters in dwarven literature? A handful, but they're the exception. Mostly they're just honoring the ancestors. It's very dull stuff. Human literature. Now there's where you'll find the tricky, clever, really deceitful types. Curious. Well, not really. Dwarves write how they want things to be. Humans write to figure out how things are. Welcome back, Shy. We're off on a journey to try to find the Horse Master right now. Oh, look at the little piggy. Is that a pig? <laughs> I have to go this way, though. Imagine if Dragon Age had DD2 combat. That would be pretty sweet. I would rather that they go with like a DD2 style combat than uh, than getting rid of all the or then going the the direction that they're going where they take away from the tactical combat. Try to streamline it to a wider audience. Oh shit! wolf would fight with such determination the breach may have driven them mad or perhaps a demon took command of the pack okay we're getting really close to horse master dennett Great ambience in this game. Listen to all the sound effects of the environment. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> shit, they don't want me in here, do they? This must be the horse master. Where's my party? There. 
Talk to my father if you have business here. And who are you then? Talk to my father if you have business here. Where is your father? He's up on the hill. Let's look around. Forgot about that feature. You'll be wanting to speak with my husband. What is this question mark on the map right here? Changed into change to a perk required deft hands and fine tools. Wow, this is a hell of a home See right here. Holy crap. It's beautiful. Name's Dennett. I served Al Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. I respect that. That sounds more than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. See this guy, you know? You made him seem like he had a bad... bad reputation, but you come and talk to the guy, he seems pretty reasonable. You might as well steal <laughs> items out of his house. Well, the good news is I'm getting a mount, so we don't have to walk painfully to slow throughout the hinter hinterlands anymore. Mount the horse at the stables. Let me talk to his wife real fast, though. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. Mm -hmm. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it, it's like dark spawn during the blight or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Farewell. Good day to you. One does not simply mention the blight. God, man, this game really is... It really is a beautiful game. What year did this one come out? Was it 20... 15? 13? Dragon Age 2 was 2011, I think. Wasn't it? 2014? Okay. Alright, hold on. We do have to talk to... Yeah, I want to talk to whoever else is here real fast. Get some more information on the wolves. doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Farewell. Okay, we got two very important tasks. But first, let's get ourselves a horse. Fancy trying out one of my courses? What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, 
So I time it with a sand glass. You try to write the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time. I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Oh shit, here we go. Shit, did the race start? What's going on? Go any faster than this? I honestly don't know if you can. I don't think you can. Not a chestnut. You cannot. Okay, thanks, Carl. Oh, let's go, baby. First try, easy course. I'm a natural. I like how it goes. Nice little added touch. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Nah. I'll speak with you later. I got more important things to do. All right. So now if I go like this, yeah, it's Roach. Oh, it's funny. Your your party disappears when you mount the horse. Okay. Let's um let's check our quest log out now. Trouble with wolves. Elena has agreed. Actually, hold on. Braun believes building a series of watchtowers. Okay, that one's defeat the wolves. We're going to start with the wolf quest first. Elena has agreed to bring the farmers back once the area has been rid of wolves. Deal with the wolves. Okay. Take a look at our map here. Oh, man. Okay, this is... And we'll stop. We'll stop right here on the way. Wow, I have a lot of markers on my map. What the hell am I following right now? There we go. Personal marker on this one. Yeah. Nothing to report, sir. You guys, you guys hydrating? When not in a dungeon, you can use the quest map to travel to distant locations. Might as well stop at this um, this area right here on the way. Build ourselves a watchtower. I can figure out how to get up there. Mission complete. between the mages and the Templars has cost too many innocent lives. 
feel like I faintly remember that I actually have to go this way to get over here. I could be wrong in saying that, but I'm going to try that first. And I don't know where I just went, but that's not the direction I was trying to go. This is pretty. Maybe I was wrong with my... My guess. is using fire attacks right now so i feel like it might be better to use the brilliant staff or use the main hand the staff that i have right now which is less dps now oh, whatever we'll just put on the uh, early in the game it doesn't really matter that much yeah i definitely made the wrong decision come here buddy Got some wolves right here, but it's not the wolves that we need to kill. So let's see, we're gonna go back. I guess I'm gonna go back maybe to here. I think that was blocked off though. It was blocked off. So let me go back to this camp. And then we'll go this way. I'm able to. Perfect. You know, the nice thing about... Oh, shit. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Not on nightmare mode. God, man. The environmental design in this game is... is well done. They did a good job creating like a variety of different landscapes and hills and rock overhangs and waterfalls, and trees. And as someone who values exploration, very, very high on the list of why I like RPGs, they did a pretty good job. At least with this area, with how it looks. I think the desert area was kind of boring. Shit. I'm not getting any battle music. It's kind of quiet, isn't it? These must be the wolves Master Dennett's wife warned us about. Here of all places. Wolf showing wolves who's boss. Yeah, I kind of remember that rift in the past, little Vixie, and I remember getting my ass kicked on hard mode or maybe even normal mode. So I think I'm gonna avoid that on nightmare for now, and come back uh, when I'm a little bit higher level and I have some more skills. Because right now, 
I still only have two skills right now. We haven't filled out hardly anything. I do have a point to spend, though. I didn't realize that. Are there any mobility? Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hold on. I do have access to sabotage. Caltrops, poisoned, fighting dirty. We have access to subterfuge. Enemies are likely to overlook you in combat. Evasion. They can't hit what they can't see. Your deceptive fighting style gives you a chance to dodge enemy attacks. The passive, though. Oh, then we have evade. You leap away from incoming attacks, putting yourself where you need to be with this fight. So maybe I'll start working towards that. Sure, we'll do that for now. And right now I'll pick up, um, I'll pick up evasion. Okay. And then for Solas, let's go further down into this tree. We're going to pick up Dispel. Remove hostile magic and status effects from allies while stripping beneficial effects from enemies. And then for Cassandra, we're going to push further into the sword and board for now until we pick up Blackwell. Um, shield Bash upgrade. You now lunge forward with Shield Bash and you can do even greater damage. Or we can get Turn the Blade. Any blow you can see, you can turn aside. All damage coming from the front is reduced. Screw it, I'll take that. And then Mr. Vedic. We'll pick up Leaping Shot. Yeah, sure, why not? A little, little mobility for now. Okay, did I complete that quest? I think I actually did complete it, but we are coming up to a cave, so I might as well explore it. That cave could be the lair of our strange wolves. I wish this map was a lot more like Dragon's Dogma 2, like where everything wasn't revealed to you. Because it does feel like a like a Ubisoft game a little bit with all the markers everywhere and everything, and I don't like that. Out my new ability. Oh shit! How do I use the new ability? It's a demon. I don't have a new ability. Not yet. Oh shit, dude! We got a problem now. Okay, let's see. Varric, take on, take on. Varric, take on. Yeah, take on that guy. Uh, Solas, I'm gonna have you come back here. Sandra, you're looking good. All right. Then we're going to have Solas attack that. We're going to take care of that guy real fast. And controlled. Get Varric that high ground boost. Oh, shit. Falling back. Come here, demon. Come here. There we go. With the demon dead, the farmers should be safe from the wolves. I expect the wolves are also pleased to be freed from the demon's control. Okay, we needed to do that. What is Sunder on Hit do in this game? Someone tell me in the chat. Is it still super loud? I did lower the music, but uh, it's not... Oh, are you saying? Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. What is our audio set at? Oh, we're still pretty high right now. I did lower it in the beginning, then we brought it back up. Even the game devs say they don't know? <laughs> what? Are you talking to me, Carly? Okay, lowers enemy AC. Okay. All right. You weren't talking to me. That'd be funny, though. What does Sunder on Hit do? Uh, well, the game devs don't even know what it does. Oh, that's good. 
Ooh, look at this little place. And boo, what's up? Roy, how you doing? Okay, let's head back now. And actually, I think I can fast travel. We'll fast travel back to... Do, 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 do. Wait, hold on. What do we got here? Farmland security. Maybe I should do all the farmland quests real fast while we're out. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to... We'll fast travel back to here. about that music change up I feel like I haven't even heard this song before yep I got I got Solas in my group I feel like I might keep Solas around as much as I can just because Dragon Age 4 obviously has a lot to do with Solas so the more dialogue we can get out of him the better I'd say Shit, there's a lot more guys over here than I thought. Crap. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, wow. What did I run into here? Holy crap. have fled to the hills. There we go. Now we're in control. Get 
It must have been some time since the renegade Templars faced a mage of any talent. the settings you can hide the UI well the problem is when you have a game that's designed from the ground up to have all of these markers when you turn them off it can become unnecessarily frustrating because the core of the game's design is not to allow you to figure things out without the markers like the world is not designed for that so whenever I play a Ubisoft like game where it has all these markers I'm hesitant to ever turn them off because you don't know like how insanely difficult it is to find things in the world like games that have a lot of markers don't really need to have good signage they don't really have, need to have good landmarks a lot of the quest givers don't really tell you that much about the quest i'm hesitant to turn things off in a game that's designed from the ground up um for quest markers and for all of these mmo objective like tasks okay let's see what Okay, only one more farmland security and then we're going to be looking pretty good. So let me call the Orson. Come here, buddy. The A's coming out this year. Oh, we have no idea. All we know is that we're getting some more, some more information on Dragon Age 4 in the summertime. I think during the Summer Game Fest. Is that when they're doing it? And who knows? Maybe they'll announce that it's coming out in fall. Maybe they'll announce that it's coming out next year. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe they'll announce that it's coming out in 2026. My guess is maybe, maybe we get a fall release or it's going to be like sometime next year. Or winter release, holiday release perhaps. Oh shit. Wow, this is a freaking battlefield right here. if we are to secure the alliance holy crap dude. i'm surprised i can even get shots off from up here i think i am maybe i'm not i don't see damage numbers Okay, nice. I did get that. Nice little watchtower. Okay, let's go back to... Go back to the farmer's camp. Even games like... You guys know me. I'm an advocate for games that have less fast travel or more limited forms of fast travel. But only if the game designers made the game for less fast travel. Like games that have a lot of fast travel, you guys see me. You guys will see me use the fast travel quite a lot. Um, even though I prefer not having as much fast travel, but the reason why I use the fast travel quite a lot is because I get the feeling that the game was designed from the core up for fast travel. Therefore, a game like DD2 that has limited fast travel, you know, the world is designed to have these dynamic monster encounters and all these unexpected surprises. While games that have a shit ton of fast travel, they're not necessarily designed to give you excitement when you're just, you know running down the road okay let's go to um and the uh, insane amount of tasks that they give you in the hinterlands like if you wanted to do all the quests here i can't imagine not using fast travel in the hinterlands if you wanted to complete everything here I feel like that would be extremely boring so like the game's not like designed for that so to say you look good on my sienna's track 
still think racing's a fool's game when there's fighting to do, but you rode well. Good to see you, Inquisition. Oh, I thought I did. The refugees down at the crossroads could use your help. Right now, any food I give those luckless bastards might as well go to the rebel mages or bandits. Talk to my man, Bron. He'll tell you what those folks need to protect themselves. Once that's done, I'll give as I can. I've no problem with charity, long as it's not wasted. You said you were once Arl Eamon's stable master. Master of the mounts. Fereldans don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlais, but they knew my name in Val Royo. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. You take care of my people, and I'll make sure your Inquisition is riding right. You said your wife, Elena, is in charge of the farms? Yes. A lot of families work our land. They work for us, and we take care of them. Elena knows the farms better than I do. Knows what they need. I imagine not being killed by anything would be a start, though. What can you tell me about the wilderness around here? Got some old ruins in the forest, from long before any king of Ferelden. The lakes are pretty, though when the weather's odd, you hear tell of spirits. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a track just over there. Fool girl likes to race the horses. Oh, I have to complete the watchtower in the farm's operation at the war table. Okay. Um, ask Sienna to set up the course. I thought I already did that. I guess we have to do some more racing. Tell Elena that the wolves are no longer a problem. Make her be with you. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. Thank you. Elena says you got rid of those demon-cursed wolves. Should be safer for our farmers now. Farewell. Make her be with you. Oh yeah, Ron. I was trying another race. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. What do you guys think? Two for two? Wait, did the timer start? Confused right now. Oh, great. Now I have a rift going on. A demon rift. Oh, shit. Did I do something wrong? That one didn't sound right when I ran through it. I think I might have missed one. Damn, I'm killing this one. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I'm cutting the corners close and everything. This is... You guys should probably record this race and upload it on YouTube. Probably get 100,000 views. I just want damn it I know, do one more Great. I want this quest to Go end I'll put up the stake straight away. that's what I want I want this quest to end to be gone oh great started facing backwards okay here we go oh yeah here we go this one's about to be challenging I know it we're gonna have to jump over something oh look at the little fox right there that's cute Hey, what's today? April 14th? April 18th? Don't forget that Warhorse Studios is announcing their next game. That's the company behind Kingdom Come Deliverance. One of the greatest open world... It's arguable if it's a RPG, but I call it an RPG. 
RPG of all time. You guys having fun watching these races? I mean, to be fair, I do hold a world record in uh, Cyberpunk for the Road Trace arcade game. Oh shit, I almost missed that looking at Carly's cop. Damn it, Carly! You almost made me miss the damn checkpoint. I'll, I'll let it slide this time, okay? Strike one, though. Wow, this is a really long race. Did I miss that one? I didn't hear a sound. There needs to be more to, like, the horse mechanic. Quite boring. I like the horseback riding in KCD. I thought they did a good job in that game. I'll be dipped. You've mastered every course I set up. Hey, there we go. Quest complete. Okay, perfect. All right, so now let's take a look at our quest log. Um, do, 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 farmland security. I do have to complete that. The thing, Templars of the West. We could just actually go back to, yeah, let's go, let's go back to the main quest. The threat remains. Word of the Inquisition's work in the hinterlands has spread. The Chantry clerics in Val Royo are ready to meet. Go to the war room. Travel to Val Royo. Oh shit. That's a serious quest right there. Okay. Um, how do I get back to... Shit, I, how do I get back to... How do I leave the hinterlands? I honestly have no idea. Oh, world map. Okay, that's how. Alright, so we got our world map here. Um... Bioware devs have confirmed the mount sprint does not go faster. It just makes lines appear in the noise place. <laughs> Wait, seriously? You never managed to get this far in the game? Man, it's a good game, man. Like, when, when you get into the hinterlands, yeah, there's a lot of bullshit. And it makes the game appear to be something that it's not. But if you get rid of all the hinterlands bullshit... Game's got. A, I think I like the story in this game. I like the companions. The, the story's got a hell of a spin to it. Spin on it. Spin on it when you get to the end. And there's some really cool locations. Hey, is that a tree bucket over there? All right. Um. Let's see what's going on here, real fast. Oh, look at Cassandra. Got to talk to our companions. That's the biggest thing in Bioware games. Always talk to your companions Ugh. as much as you possibly can. Same with Baldur's Gate 3, too. Oh shit. We're gonna hit on uh we're gonna hit on all the ladies in this game. You guys think I should play the field or what? You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? <laughs> when I need to be. It's impressive. Kind of a force of nature. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? What I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. Oh, sorry about that. One day Hit they the may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. Do it. And they may be right. With a bag on her face, that's not very nice. Isn't it a bit late to worry about it now? We have only just begun. My train is always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. 
But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. I'm curious. Do you even believe in the Maker? I'm Dalish. I believe in our own gods. And there's no room among your gods for one more? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. I wonder if DA4 will have a print button, or a print, sprint button, excuse me. This will synchronize your collectibles across games by downloading collectibles that you previously uploaded and uploading newly acquired items. Would you like to synchronize them? I don't even know what that means, and I have no interest in that, so no. Alright, what do we got here? We got modify weapons and armor, so let's let's talk to this guy first. Expected you'd be by. I'm Harrod, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? <clears throat> Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. My God, look at that mustache. Holy crap. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it mm, here, we'll okay. make sure it's done right and proper. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. All right, let's get a little information here. How did you come to be here? Come from a little town called Lothring. Long gone now. I was in Redcliffe when the Darkspawn hit it during the Blight. Helped rebuild. Left when Royalty decided it was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. Ended up here. Just missed the boom. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking or the exact opposite. <laughs> You're still walking. That's always good. True enough. Upgrading an item adds the upgrade stats to the item stats in addition to changing its appearance. For example, attaching a hilt with a plus three cunning bonus to a sword adds this bonus to the sword. You can freely remove and add existing upgrades or exchange them between different items. New upgrades can be crafted in crafting stuff. How stupid my character. Look at the freaking helmet that my character is wearing. Oh my god, thank god for Hyde Helm. Holy crap. Is that what Cassandra's wearing? Another time, then. Bow of the Dragon. Let's go. Alright, firm bow grip gives it... What does it give it? It gives it firm bow grip, but I don't understand what that actually does. Is there a description? Oh, plus four dexterity is what it gives. Okay. Nice. I like how this game has like these weapon mods that you can put on your stuff. I think that's pretty Another cool. Time, what about Varric? Let's see. Bianca. We have the sturdy Bianca grip, so we want to put that on. Okay. Nice. Plus three cunning. I actually don't know what that is. Solas. Yeah, you're looking fine. Oh. Cassandra. Yeah, you're looking fine. Okay. All right. You need something? Let me know. Oh, I gotta loot this.
You need something? Let me know. Okay, we gotta talk to all of our companions. I think we have a little bit of a side quest right here. Pick it up. Oh, okay, that was part of one of my side quests, I think. How you losers doing? What kind of name is Charter, anyway? Doesn't sound. Hmm? I said you could call me that scalp, Helene. I never said it was. We have a traitor right here. Good day. Or good as it could be with the sky ripped apart. Hmm. True. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroyed most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. You no, know, I gotta say, you guys like to make fun of my nose right there. Would you rather have this guy's nose, though? You know? Anytime I start to feel insecure, I'm just gonna start thinking about uh, our buddy right here. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition is called. Yet, I Shit, imagine man. it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies for what it's worth. That guy's gonna need nose armor to go with his helm. <laughs> Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. All right, let's get um. My wares are at the table. Oh, okay. We gotta go to the table. Let's see what we got here. Eh, nothing. Oh, yeah, that I have the DLC stuff, so. Ooh, that's pretty cool, though. I like that a lot. I like that armor design. But, I mean, look at my armor right now. Can you really beat that? Freaking badass, man. All right. Hey, look, we got a couple tree buckets up here. You guys know what tree buckets are? I think we have to talk to Solas now. Solas? I'm going to start calling him Solas. It's a lasshole. <laughs> so, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Mm -hmm. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I don't even want to think about how many lives were lost on that mountaintop. A lot of good men and women didn't make it out of there. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in hey, there Joker. and lived. Thanos, what's up? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky, that's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? Mm -hmm. The guy responsible Dragon Age used too. to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that, and I had answers. A little Dragon Age 2 reference there. You from Ferelden? Orlais? Free marches, born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no, Kirkwall's not that no, bad. No, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, my brother. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I won her from Paragon Smith Bronca in a game of Wicked Grace. She's 
She was such a sore loser. Ran off to the deep roads in a huff, and that was the last anyone saw of her. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. If you've run a spy network, why is Liliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. You're an author? What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hands at a few genres. <laughs> my crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown, guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written, or infamous, maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravane somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Thanks, Varric. No Man, problem. I keep like getting Dragon Age Origins confused with Inquisition as as to the places that we get to visit in this game. Crafting supplies we need. When they're ready, piss off. <laughs> if you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're him, Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have. But we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harrick can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer, hmm. best commanding officer this world has ever seen. <gasps> After oh, they all turned okay. on the Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Logain never betrayed his king. If he brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I, I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Forget it. So if you read the Dragon Age books, <clears throat> the first one of the series, you learn a lot about Loghain and Merrick too. It gives you a really, really interesting uh, perspective on those characters when you play Dragon Age Origins. All right, not enough materials. Hinterlands Geological Survey. Inquisition Weapons. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? 
To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Hmm. I like her questioning her faith. Um, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her? If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Definitely an interesting philosophical question to ponder. If you are religious or you believe in God, I see some interesting discussions on that online. I've watched some some pretty cool debates. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen. You again. know, I didn't give Liliana a chance on my work, first then. Inquisition run, so we will speak later. I'm going to pay closer attention to her this time. Hope I can't even talk to her anymore to get some more. Nope. Also pretty hot, too. I'm not going to lie. All right, where's Baldi at? Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Oh, shit. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate. Enough. Night Captain. That is not my title. Hey. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. Holland's got my nose. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Hey, hold on. <gasps> Who is this? Was Varric? Liliana's right there, Varric, um, Cullen, we gotta go talk to, I'm pretty sure that, uh, Pointy Ears is down here somewhere. Make sure these are safe to serve. They're fine. Nobody will take sick as long as she boils some. And wine. you guys pay close attention woman for asking the Solas's dialogue. Because although I'm sure they'll design Dragon Age 4 to where you don't have to have played Inquisition, it seems like uh, if there was ever a game where playing the previous game was gonna help, it's probably this one. The Dragon Age 4. Alright, we got upgrade potions and equip potions. So Okay, I only have health potions. Um, oops. Upgrade potions. You can upgrade potions that I've already unlocked. To upgrade a potion, select a category. Select a potion, then select the upgrade. Significant amount of herbs to unlock and return. They give permanent and significant bonuses to your potions. Okay, so let's go to potions. Healing potion. Oh. I need more elf root. Okay, so. We gotta do a little bit more gathering out in the wild.
Okay. Oh, here he is right here. Here we go. You guys ready for this? I know it is. It, it looks really good, Joker. I agree. Take a look at the amulet Solas is wearing. The Chosen of Andraste. The blessed hero sent to save us all. Hey, Cully. Thanks for the tier one. We were talking about you earlier. I was talking about all the people on this channel that are Dragon Age fanatics. And you are one of them. And all the people that have Dragon Age tattoos. I have no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. Thank you, Danny. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I imagine you find some amazing things in there. Alongside all the demons. Exactly. It is occasionally dangerous, yes. But more often it's just sad to see what has been lost. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating. But you understand my caution. The giant hole in the sky trumps any other concerns. We can worry about the rest later. Yes. Who can say what this world will look like when we are done fighting for it? But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Closing the breach is our primary goal, but I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? We we'll probably put on shoes, so lost it's snowing out for Grape's sake. All right, let's get some more lore. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you'd be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? Hey, we got some new dialogue here. My people come from the elves who refused to surrender when humans broke their treaty and destroyed the Dales. Your keeper was not wrong about that, at least. We must mark the occasion of the Dalish remembering something correctly. Perhaps we should plant a tree. <laughs> you insult my people. They insult themselves. Remember, I have walked the memories of the Fade. I have seen the history the Dalish imitate. Fine, you think we're terrible. What about the alienages full of elves who aren't Dalish? Why? What would it benefit some poor man in a Ferelden alienage to learn that his ancestors strode the land like gods? It would only make him bitter, or inspire him to take a foolish risk and get himself killed. You've decided his reaction for him. Perhaps I have. If you have questions and believe the answers will help, ask. Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No and yes. Magic is magic. Just as water is water, 
but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Well, I think this dialogue that I'm in right now, it said special dialogue. I don't know if that's because I am playing as an elf. I didn't get this option when I was playing as a dwarf. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While in Tevinta, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. Pay special attention when you hear the line, or when you hear um, Tevinta also, because Dragon Age 4 is going to be heavily based to Venter. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvenan was the empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty. Lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees. And imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches. Palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, but whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Are all Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits. Others trade freely with humans. And some have disappeared entirely into the forests. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Very interesting. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah, well... You can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are your people holding up? We've got Mother Giselle lending a hand now, which helps. For the ones that need comforting more than actual healing, she's a rock in fast water. Something to cling to. Oh, he's got a quest. Let me pick up the quest real fast. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Right then. Okay, we're gonna push on with the main quest now. Huh. 
see if there's any elf fruit out here because I do actually need some to upgrade my potions. Oh, there we go. You missed us? Me too. That's why I'm playing it. Getting excited for uh, the summer when we get some more information on Dragon Age 4. So what better time than now to jump into Dragon Age Inquisition? Which route am I going, Mage? I don't, I don't know, Thanos. I don't know. I don't know who we're going to support. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. The Mages and Templars are fighting even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? Exactly why all this should be left to a new Divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return. I hope. There you go. I know a lot of you guys in this chat love love Daddy Cullen. Well, there, there's your shot. Take a screenshot if you have to. He's got a who knows like I do. I get the paperwork for the healer guy. Okay. I should do that quest. Okay, before we go in, and uh, we're going to have the big meeting at the war table, which will be pretty entertaining. Let me just come down here real fast. I feel like I have to take advantage of, although it hasn't seemed too bad so far on Nightmare, but I have a feeling that I'm going to hit a difficulty spike at some point. sounds when I pick up loot or pick up elf fruit. I like those sounds.
ton of Elford out here. This is nice. I don't think I've ever come out here, like ever, when I played it the first time. Up, GM. I don't know where this letter's supposed to be. Find Tegan's notes. Showing it right here on the map. What am I missing here? Anybody know? Oh, it's on the table inside? Didn't see anything pop up to where I could actually pick it up. Am I, uh, am I losing my mind right now, or what, what the hell is going on here? I can't pick up any of those notes. be anywhere in the purple okay all right so maybe okay i see so this all right so the purple radius is okay so this i get it never mind this is at the center of the quest radius for some reason i thought this purple mist was like something else so it could actually be anywhere i don't think it's in that actual but and actually it looks like it ends right here okay so all right you'd think it would be in there though you know Like, where else would it be? Aha! Okay, I didn't realize there was a... Uh... It is in here. Well, that's silly. I guess I get it now, so it won't be it won't be silly in the future. But you have to do it like directly on top of the item. <laughs> yeah. All right, mission complete. Can't fast travel in there. We get a Cully fanfic. What's up, Scanix? Hope that ping noise isn't in the next game. Me too. They could probably think of a better system than that, right? And somebody just constantly going like this. Like, why not just have, like, the A... Like, why not just have me go near the table and then it actually show up? You have to do the scan thing? Maybe you Secret don't have to. Told me you're back. And in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajin was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. But he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Okay. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. You're back. And in one piece. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. 
Potion assignment. You can equip or replenish potions for each party member. Healing potions at the top of the radial menu are replenished for free automatically, but all other potions require herbs for replenishing. Regeneration potion. Use LS to select the potion you want the current party member to have assigned. Okay. Stores 26 health every two seconds. So let's click A. <clears throat> okay. Now I have a heal over time. Now let's go to Varric. Let's give Varric the regeneration potion. We'll give him five. We'll go to Solas. And then we'll go to Cassandra. Nice. Very nice. Lyrium potion. I don't have enough to research anything. Okay, let's push on with the main quest now. Word of the Inquisition's work in the hinterlands has spread. The Chantry clerics and Val Royale are ready to meet. Go to the war room. Well, actually, I might have to go to Val first. Psycho. Oh, I guess, oh, okay, it was a codex that I unlocked. Okay, that's good to know. I actually want to click on every single book that we come across then. Then I can the reference the codex cleansed. later. Tell me I have sung to your approval. The Inquisition cannot remain a My girl. If she can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the from magic Val. of the breach. Master Lavellan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia Nobody this asked. land for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denerim, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I see no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagas must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. Hmm? Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. We face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellians actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. 
Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are our legion. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. I'm glad for your help. I have a feeling the Inquisition's going to need it. I do believe you are correct. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Good day to you. What business are the Montelliers in exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore? Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Wait, is Antiva where Tevinter is located? I'll let one of you guys answer that in the chat. Yeah, Josephine's Bay, my girl. Oh, this is not that far, GM Dragon. This is session one, so not far at all if you're talking to me or maybe you're talking to somebody else. That's pretty good, Tardis. He was on the eastern coast. I believe Antiva will also be included in Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Very close. Okay, all right. So, anything Sola says, anytime you hear Antiva or anytime you hear the word Tevinter, pay special attention. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's light. Let's speak later. Farewell. I'm in love. I'm in love. A little codex entry there. Wait, what was that? Damn it, I can't click on it again. I have to go into the codex. Sometimes I get letters mixed up with codex entries. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. Mm -hmm. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Yes. Good. If you find anything, please bring it in. Please tell me if you find something. Oh, okay. So an auto turn Please tell me if you find something. Alright, cool. Please tell me if you find something. Say it one more time. Silence. I knew then and crossed my head. Hey, by the way, Fallout uh, episode two. <sighs> that shit was good, man. Like I liked episode one. It was pretty good. You know, the coolest thing was that it really gave a Fallout vibe. They did a good job, like, representing the video game, I would say. Episode 2 was awesome. 
Missions and operations take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. I basically completely ignored the war table first time that I played this. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, which results in less time required when undertaken by the associated advisor. Missions may also provide different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. Alright, so we have our map here of Ferelden and Orlay. That's nothing to do with fairness. Do, 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 do. We simply can't accommodate them if they bring that many servants. I will speak to the Duchess. She can be reasoned with after a fashion. All right, we're going to finish the Build the Watchtowers mission that I was on earlier to help the farmers. Requires 48 minutes of time. Work. Okay. Colin's on that right now. Um, I don't really know, like, exactly how to do, like, what the right strategy is for the war table. But perhaps I'll engage with it this time. And we have Orlea, Dress the Chantry in Valroyo. Red Heart. I've received an offer of assistance. I am unnerved but not opposed. It is not the first strange promise we have received and likely will not be the last. The Inquisition is needed. We would provide. What we have. Relvin has not seen significant Grey Warden activity since Darkspawn attacked the city of Amaranthine ten years ago. It's not unusual for their order to fade from public notice when there's no blight. However, recent reports claim that a group was traveling along the northern coastline. Wardens tend to follow their own agenda, but they breach. But the Breach has no doubt caught their attention. If they know something, then the Inquisition should find out. Ah, oh, the music. New area unlocked. Would you like to gather your party? Nope, we're not doing that yet. That's where we meet Iron Bull, I believe, right? Yep. what we have. Let us begin. Okay, so that just goes into that. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, I have to go back one more time. Damn it. I'm sorry, folks. Look upward when I go to the Storm Coast. Okay, you got it. War table is awesome. I don't know if I'd call it that, but we're all entitled to our own opinions, right? Okay, so in order to get to... Val Royal, I actually have to have power four. Is that the minimum required level? I think it is, so I can't even unlock that location yet. I have power one right now. Inquisition perk zero. And I forgot all about all this stuff. Okay. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Well, you know how these things go. <laughs> At least, I hope someone does. You love to bring a little light into the darkness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of life. Agreed. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. You keep talking as though I'm the equal of Andraste. Do you know how unnerving that is? 
I can only imagine. But we are all given to our purpose under the Maker. A sword does not ask to be forged. And frankly, if such a comparison gives you pause, I do not see that as a bad thing. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the First Blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots, who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. No wonder everyone is so nervous around us. Who chose that name? Divine Justinia herself. I understand that this was not a popular decision. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. Hmm. I'm sure we'll hear plenty of references about the Inquisition, too, in Dragon Age 4. This is the dark chapter of history for the Divine to revisit. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was Divine, Justinia's message. That when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the Majors and the Templars destroyed their homes. Mm. In their minds, the death of the Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, add the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. We got a lot of dialogue in this Some game. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. I like it though, and they have really good voice acting in this game. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empreuse de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse. But they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olé and Ferelden. Why is it still showing? Oh, does that just mean I have a quest to turn in with her? Oh no, it's no, that's the war table. Okay, um, that is a upcoming quest. That's a codex entry, I hope, because I want to read that sometime. Just 
There's so much lore to this world. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna read the book. I'm gonna read. Uh, I'm gonna read some Dragon Age. Uh, tonight for sure. Forget Netflix. Going back to the books. I don't know if I've ever come down here before. Oh, great. Wait, is there loot in there? Yeah, there is a little bit. The AI is deep, a deep dive into the lore. Holds the player's hand so it does not overwhelm them. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, the books are really good. Um... If you do read the books, you'll probably go back and play Dragon Age Origins first. And you'll understand why after the first book. I'm currently like three quarters through the second book, which is called The Culling. And I think the books were written after... Wait, I don't know. I have to look. I don't know if the books were written... Or after the games, or in the middle of the games. But either way, they are obviously, like, they're designed to really give you a lot of knowledge on the games. Oh, nice. Nice GM Dragon. Hell yeah. Might as well open up the last one, right? Keep unlocking a bunch of codexes, and then, like, you know, sometime we can come in here... And we can reference all of these, all of these lore drops here. And I can also reference these for future videos too, because I'm sure that I'll, like with Baldur's Gate 3, when we get closer to Dragon Age 4, as long as it doesn't look like a complete disaster of a game, I'm sure I'll probably lead up to the launch with like a lore series like I did with Baldur's Gate 3. Probably go pretty heavy on the focus on DA4 for this channel. only have three party members. But I think this is going to be a uh, good stopping point here. Had a really good time today. Really enjoying this game and I'm really enjoying that uh, we're focusing a lot more on, you know, all of the dialogue and listening to the cutscenes. You know, back in the day when I streamed this game, I was kind of all over the place. I was trying to be entertaining and keeping things moving and not really paying attention to things, but times have changed, my friends. So yeah, I'm really excited for this playthrough. I have also started up a Fallout 4 run, which is available as a public um, VOD under the live tab on the channel's homepage. We'll continue playing Fallout 4. And I also want to keep playing um, Elden Ring, too, so we can get ready for the DLC. So as of now, I'm going to be switching between those three games on and off. I don't know which days I'm going to stream which games. Maybe I can come up with some schedule that will help you guys know which ones you want to follow or know when to show up for the stream. Honestly, I thought about starting up The Witcher 3 too, but that's going to be too many games to juggle at one time. That would be pretty cool though. If I did The Witcher 3 too, and one day out of the week was dedicated to Elden, Witcher, Dragon Age, and Fallout. That'd be really cool. Be an exciting, exciting week. With that said, it would take me like two years to finish all the games, so. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. As always, appreciate you guys. If you guys want to join the Discord server, the link is below in the video description, and I do have a Dragon Age chat over there. And uh, as we get closer to Dragon Age 4, I will create a Dragon Age category where we have a general chat for it, a lore chat, a spoilers chat, a gallery, and all that good stuff as we get closer to Dragon Age 4. Right now, it's just a single chat, but I'll leave it at that until we uh, have a little bit more information on Dragon Age 4. Try Horizon series. Yeah, a couple of people have recommended it to me. I'm like, kind of interested in it. I hear it's like uh, Ubisoft style. I'm not really into like the Assassin's Creed games. There's a lot. There's certain RPGs and action adventures that I don't 
take a lot of interest in. That's usually the Ubisoft style games. I heard that uh, Horizons is kind of like that. But with that said, some of you guys have heard it's like your favorite game of all time. So I should stay open minded about it and I'll give it a try one day in the future. I promise. Okay. I promise. And uh, we got 56 in the chat right now in the Twitch chat. So I'm going to send you guys over to I'm going to have you guys. I'm going to send you guys to Legendary Drops channel. Um, he is someone that was following my channel for a very long time. Um, actually, when I used to do music content, I think is when he started following me. Now he has a YouTube channel, and he does uh, tw he does streams on Twitch, YouTube, and also videos. And he's been uh, blowing up. He's been getting a ton of views and really, really taking his YouTube to the next level. So we'll, we'll throw some support over to him. So if you guys want to stop over and say hi, um, I'm going to have the Twitch raid go over there right now, okay? The raid has been created. Ready up, viewers, and say hi to Legendary Drops. You know, give him a follow. He's a good guy. You know, makes good content, too. We got 53 ready. The raid begins. Uh, YouTube chat, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.